Um, Celia, uh, approve the meeting minutes. So, Ms. Ward, how many behind? Four? I didn't make it to the March 26th meeting, but I did watch part of it online. I didn't see in the first half hour any no, approval. Did. So, we can take one. So, that, the, yeah, but you took those minutes, right? The March 12th was the table that the March 26th. The March 26th got transcribed and sent out. Then we tabled last time for the April meetings, the first April meeting, and then we just had the last April meeting, so we're four behind. Okay. Well, I'm, ex with the exception of the last ones that you just sent out, I'm caught up and I'm okay with the yeah, first three. I'm caught up too. Okay. So, I'm going to, you want to make a motion, Kathy? To accept meeting minutes. Um, March through uh, April 9th. That sure. was the Second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First or second. And then we'll table until next time, April 23rd. Please. Yeah. Okay. And no questions. All right. Um, next subject is a sport inventory. So I think, so Kelly called me today and said that she had a chance to go upstairs. Um, she'll, I, I don't know quite what was up there. I told her to let us know tonight, so when she gets in. Did we, uh, you have to refresh my memory now, did we, um, the pool table, it was a pool table, right? Did we get rid of that? Okay, what about the ping pong table? Did we get rid of that too? Okay. Is that the only thing that was essentially saved about the tables, right? Yeah. Where? In the shed. So the ping pong table stayed and the pool table went? Yeah, it was duct taped. The legs were hard. So what would we need for the ping pong table? Does it have a net? Is a net so in good shape? Yeah, yeah, the net and the um, paddles looked pretty good. Um, okay. And I have a client that wants to um, donate some things. Did you want me to write them down with? Yeah, um, okay. It's a, a foosball table, a mini ping pong, a mini pool table. So the pool table, I think that we still might need a, a full size one. This is like the one you put on the table. Mm -hmm. um, it's like three feet by two feet. Or mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, badminton, croquet, yes. soccer ball, um, awesome. a dart board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, but no thanks. Games and puzzles. Um, so that's, that's great because okay. Kelly was just talking about um, somebody had offered to sponsor. I think she had mentioned that before maybe a month or so ago, and she was anxious to get with this guy, but if you've already done it, then that's perfect. And then we have a donation from the fire department. Um, I think I'll get to go there tomorrow um, and go through what they didn't give away at Christmas time um, for sport balls and things and um, board games. Um, they, they said that we can just go right everything and take what we want. Nice. Is there, when, when we talk about where the other stuff is upstairs, is there enough room to oh, store? Tons of room. Tonight? That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. I figured. Could we store all this stuff there until we can get this shed figured out? Because it sounds, what Kathy was telling me, this shed is in real disrepair. The smaller stuff, yeah, because, but like to bring tables and stuff. Yeah, you can get a full size pool table. Yeah, well, yeah, not no, no, to, no. we're not supposed to be up there anyway no. at all. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where um, not the stuff is. And <laughs> where that stuff is, actually the steeple roof is being repaired next week. Uh, um so I think it's in it's So it's not I, it's steeple. not ideal then to be storing. I didn't I just uh, it's not ideal. It's less than ideal. But there's plenty like it's right. it's a whole, whole upstairs is empty. Mm -hmm. But it's not safe, that's why we can't use it. 
<laughs> but it's beautiful if you ever get to go up there. Mm -hmm. It so, is beautiful. Do we have to move that then? Is I'm, I'm going to move it tonight because I just got an email today that the roofing company is coming sometime next week to do the steeple. So I don't know. Just the banging will put all that dust on that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just thought I'd move it over to the so we other, to other side of the think wall. Think about some because it, uh, it sounds. It sounds like we don't want to be putting anything in that shed right now, uh -huh. yeah. you know, because it's just going to get destroyed. Right. So we yeah. have to find like a temporary yeah. place there's, to store There's stuff things. stacking up on in my office. There's a big box right there stacking up right now. Okay. There's a helmet. There's to get board games. There's a glove. Um, but you know, I'll be happy to take whatever home until. Um, yeah, I can probably store some things too. Yeah, yeah. 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 and then you probably find spots. Some of my kids' stuff will probably come along with it. Yeah, I'm planning on donating some things too. All right. So, I think my question is probably you, Jody, since we're now getting into some of my bigger items. Jody is. Do these things need to go through the slip or We need to know where they are. Yeah, okay. So, before we purchase them, I'm just hopping in the conversation. No, oh, these are donations. Right. Before so they're donated? They no, we just so know that you've got to donate. Oh, okay. What Kathy was talking about is that she, somebody's going to donate. We just <laughs> foosball, mini ping pong, mini ping pong table, uh, badminton, croquet, soccer ball, miscellaneous games, and board games. Nice. Yes, I did go. So I'll just take that. I, I have a slew of things here. But um, so upstairs were there were just like ten basketballs, like three footballs, um, three three wiffle ball bats and and balls. With that, um, about five softball bats, um, two hula hoops, one paddle ball set. And it looked like two tennis rackets and a golf bag with golf clubs. And I was like, okay, we don't really need those, I don't think. <laughs> is this all new stuff or is it like gently used? Um, a lot of it was new. Yep. Um, there were some gloves in there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there were some gloves. that Some of that looked kind of like it was hand-me-down mm -hmm. stuff. The golf set was a hand-me-down thing. But like the paddle ball set was brand new. It was kind of in a package. Um, the wiffle ball sets looked like they were new. Most of the basketballs look like they were new. Yeah, that was so, all donated yeah. from the last Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. more than I thought. So there, but there wasn't any, like, like what you were just talking about, so that's good to hear. Um, so none of, like, the, the bigger kind of things up there. So uh, Dan, before we talk any more about inventory, can, in the spirit of making sure the select board knows what we have, can you keep a running list of the inventory that we have? Sure. And this way we can share it with the select board and keep it. Do you think you could perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not exactly what I was going to ask. But a... Kathy, can, <laughs> can you? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Get me a copy of your list if it's donated goods, so I can and a uh, contact person, so I can make sure that it gets into our list and thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll cross off the draft for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want that. <laughs> I think we need three of those, actually. That would be great for my kids. Better longer. <laughs> <laughs> See if that first day class really works. Thank <laughs> you. Um, so what, uh, we've done the next work. We started Bring up to speed. We're starting to talk about the sports inventory. Okay. And then we got a little oh, yeah. sidetrack talking about our donation. And then, yeah, a different one. so we're talking about the shed. And storage of goods mm -hmm. in a possible good place, right? Yes. Because the smaller stuff can come here, right? Mm -hmm. But like large oh, stuff, where do we put it? a brand new garage. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's been loaded up three times, I think. Um, yeah, no. Don't look at me. <laughs> I do have our walkie talkies, though, still. What else do I have? I kind of don't. I can't remember. Now you can hand off the walk time for the program. Oh, I'll be happy to get the thing. Okay. Um, so I, I want to go over at some point, yeah, Kathy, with that list of yours because I have a. Do you, you have a donor for that? Is that what you said, right? Because yeah. I have a potential person, too, that is interested in, in buying 
things. Oh, good. Would he be interested in buying easy ups? Do you think? We have one. Do we have one? Did you see one mm -hmm. over? It? Yeah. Is that all together, pieced together? Well, did we did we open it? I didn't open it. No. <laughs> I, I um I kind of we kind of did things quickly. Yeah. And um there's a like bees. Um, oh, lovely. The <laughs> nest in there. Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it, it really needs some attention and action. Yeah. What do you mean, the, how we locked it with a screw wasn't good enough? Well, it sounds like, <laughs> when you said the roof yeah, needs work. Yeah, I think work. the roof really needs work. Um, and, um, mice, um, evidence of mice. Yeah. And like the board, the doors, you know, like the, the like piece missing. Like you can't mm -hmm. get a secure close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had to uh, screw it shut. No, no, but like... <laughs> when it <laughs> closes, okay. it's not... Fitting flush. Uh, okay. And there's like a piece of like wood, like up missing. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we need like to replace the doors and the roof. We'll just throw that in the budget. Get that to Lester. <laughs> 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 so so when they do this roof, roof Billy do you Hammond. think that they could just swing on over and <laughs> shed? Yeah. Well, I, I'm actually going to ask Andy tomorrow whatever's left over to, to yeah. just leave. Because they, if they, they'll probably have like those shingles. Too. We just shingled yeah. that roof. Probably only a couple. Oh yeah, the, the it's architectural shingles. No it's, it's really high end stuff. Going to get the steel. Forty-year shingles. Yeah. They're a little more. A little shed. over overkill for a shed, but yeah. we already paid for it. So. Yeah. I'm hoping there's a few sheets left over. All right. <laughs> But Billy Hammond, oh, life already, yeah. oh, that Billy the bus offering for him to help uh, some double check. Oh right yeah, there were three floor oh, hockey so sticks. So, three. <laughs> so three. one team gets sticks. Three floor yeah, hockey sticks. The team gets yes. a golf course. Got that. Go for it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Or you can play two on one. Not like golf. There was a few. There was a number of gloves there that I think three. were just kind of. So baseball gloves, softball gloves. Yeah. So. um, yeah, let me know if you guys need to move back to the roof. Yeah, because I have, I, we are in the process of probably doing everything. All right. Getting quotes. I already got one for the garage roof, and that's it rolled on. So I have a roll of that, and then I have to, we found out the roof number is leaking, so we have to get more. Yeah, my neighbor's doing the roof, too. You that last night. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you have an agenda over there? Keep it out. Is that pretty much it? Yeah, this um, is tonight. We have to add um, three pre and post care for me to be. What's that? Um, Your agenda. I picked it off a couple of Yes. Sorry. I'm not paying attention. Sorry. I'm looking at registration. Do you want to pre and post care now? I see one. One in here. Okay, wait, I got my, wait, you guys are going to laugh at this. So as I was filling this out today, as I was filling look at this. Spilled coffee. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, that's just prior for the car straight there. I'm like, I'm going to hand that in. Stop you. <laughs> yeah, so if we wanted to talk about that now, we can, um, if we're ready to move on. Okay. Just one last thing. So, so we want to make some sort of a plan to, Perhaps get that work um, donated to help the shit. I mean, I'm more than willing to help out uh, with, with, with that. Blythe already threw her husband Billy into the bus. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just double checking. Okay. I said, is Billy really willing to work on the door and right. the roof for the shed for the summer? And then um, I'll make my brother go down as well. Because <laughs> so, they're buddies. So, All right. All right. Um, but I'm sure all hands on deck would be great. Yeah, yeah. And no, let me know. with a couple of people making out a shed is it should be half, that of, half of yeah. a day. I actually found a, 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 like a pretty good master lock with two keys to it oh, okay. randomly that I had that I don't use. So, so it's not a still have to get a huge item, so, but at least we'd have that. Who owns? Who actually owns the shed? Is it the school? Mm-hmm. Does the school own the shed? The school has to own right? I mean, well, they're building a new one right now. Oh. All, all, all cinder block. Yeah, so I, know. I well, haven't gone out and seen it yet. Is it done? Mm -hmm. I, I'll have to take a drive by. It's like we'll be there Thursday night. There was nothing in that shed though that was school. Did you? 
in in the second shed. It was only rec stuff, but the school yeah, they allowed it. they allowed the rec to use it. Okay. So do we need to check with the school mm. to have the work done on it? No, you have to select, check with the select board. Yeah. Select board. Okay. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll are waived because it's town stuff. Yeah. But they just need to know what we're doing here. So okay. I, mean, I believe we talked about it, but I'll talk about it again on Monday just in case. I didn't talk about it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, the pre and post care. So I, I did have some inquiries over email asking about the pre and post care. And was like, um, once I don't, I, I don't recognize the names, but they were just contacting me about the pre and post care because they're only going to be using them two, three, four, you know, weeks out of the, the summer, and they're concerned about having to pay the full rate. And, and obviously, I mean, I I agree with it. I mean, I don't. I would want to have to pay for a whole summer from when they put me up for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So what was resulting in though is loss of registrations. I've had two people flat out tell me, well, I'm not going to do it if I have to pay that much money for two weeks. So it's resulting in loss of you know, tuition or registrations. And so I'm bringing it back here saying, should we rethink this? Should we allow for um, doing it by the week? What is, what is one person, what is the cost? For one week for pre or post? Fifteen dollars for one child. For, for one child for pre and fifteen dollars for one child for post. Per day. Per, per, per week. week. Per week. Mm -hmm. So Okay. So the two forty is for the summer. Yes. Yes. And then if you do pre and post care for eight weeks for one child, that's another two forty. So it's equal to your tuition. Right. And we talked about that. We talked about that it was an extra service. Um, I mean, my thought is not to complicate it, and we can deal with it next year if, if it becomes an issue. But to change it halfway through, and then these people then have gone somewhere else, and they find out that Sally down the street only got to pay two weeks for a minute. When I called them, they said no. And See, yeah, Mrs. I, Smith is mad. And I guess I misunderstood the whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was like, because I only need. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. So I only need seven weeks. Um, so I was only going to pay for seven weeks. So mm -hmm. I was under the understanding, because we had separated it by pre and post per week, that there was going to be... Yeah, we do separate by pre and post. Right. Sure. Pre but we did not, not separate by week. Right. We separated one fee. But so we did separate pre and post. Right, and we figured out a, a fee of $15 per week. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was thinking in my head. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to pay for seven weeks, and seven weeks is blah, blah, blah. So yeah. when I revisited the paperwork, I was like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it was never offered before. So we're willing to offer the service. Here's the cost. It's all or nothing. I think we can revisit it next year if it, if it becomes that big of an issue. Or what do we have for sign up so far? Uh, we have uh, some flexibility in there. For pre and post, yeah. Uh, we have 10 pre, 6 post. What? 10 kids pre? Yeah. But that, they haven't paid that. Because <laughs> I, I only have one kid pre and one kid post. That's all I've been saying. Will the name not be for? Okay. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> I have a total of I only, I only report to you what I've actually okay. done. Okay, cool. <laughs> scared me. I'm like, ah. Yeah, so we, cause we have 480 that we've received for yeah. free and 480 for class. Yeah, so what I have for numbers is not going to necessarily match okay. what we have. You <laughs> know, I don't have the money in hand. Okay. I've got what's expected, but not. Okay. Well, I can, if we want to revisit, I can tell you what Summersworth does. So Summersworth has extended hours pre and post. They do not separate it. So you, if you want, need one, you're still paying for both. And it is either a flat rate of $100 per session, <coughs> I don't remember, it might be four weeks for the session, or $30 per week. So <coughs> you could do a discount <coughs> for the session, and because that's what it seems like they do. So it would be $120 if you paid per week, but they're giving a discount <coughs> the four week, because they do two four week sessions. So, um, but there is no 
split between the <coughs> two. So if you need one, you're signed up for the other. I guess that's how that works. I'm sort of on the same page as Lester mm -hmm. because we've already built it into our budget too on the expenditure side. Mm -hmm. So if we say <coughs> now change it up and we don't get you know, 16 kids for the whole summer, where are we going to cut in expenses? Salary. That's, that's fine. If that's what you guys decide, yeah. I just okay. wanted to bring it to the table and just let you know and that. Not to be unsympathetic to Jody, but she's paying for just one extra week. And I do understand there are people that are paying for it. Oh, Yes, right. times two. <laughs> and there are people that are paying for maybe six extra weeks, and that's making them turn their back. Exactly. So, but in the past, we wouldn't have ha offered zero weeks to them, so they would have had, you know. They would have gone I guess you can go to another camp, but it's going to cost you more money in the end because their, their registration is more and everything else is more. So they can be upset that they have to pay for an extra three weeks of pre or post care and go somewhere else and pay more overall. See, I was thinking you'd get more people if you paid for the pre and post the week. Tell us when, when you need it, of course, and then you pay the week that you need it. Because right now, I'm dishing out, personally, $440 for my two for the summer, plus another $400 for free. Mm -hmm. but, for so for it's like nine something mm -hmm. for me right now. I have a current registration that's right. asking me why am I paying for right. So eight weeks. I think a lot of people would be able to dish out the two hundred or the four hundred, depending on how many kids they're sending. Then the thirty dollars per week as the weeks come up. And see, I would be fine breaking it up like that mm -hmm. if we have the kids signed up of pay for your camp <laughs> registration now and then pay by the week for pre and post care. Right. Like you have to pay the Friday before you need the pre and post care or whatever. Because I have to take money from whoever the director will be on Friday night then. So. I'm trying to see what Barry I think that just see. complicates it and then well you know what I'm not gonna use it this this week and I, I just and I will share one other tidbit that I had. I was at the Open Mills with registrations, and I had a family come in from Dover who didn't want to participate in our camp because they work until 5, and neither one, and one works in Rochester and one works in Portsmouth mm -hmm. or something like that. So they couldn't get back until 5.30 to pick mm -hmm. up their child. Mm -hmm. So there was that, oh, we can't do it because you don't go long enough. Yeah. Well, we're not going to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. Think about how many people weren't happy at nine to three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, or, or what if we? Or what if we have a four week, four week minimum? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we already do have it built into the budget. Yeah, it's there. We can think about changing it next year. Yeah. I just wanted everybody to know that we are losing or will lose registrations. Because of it, right. so if we want to change it next year. See, I look at it as a glass half full. We're gaining registrations that we would not have otherwise had last year because now we're offering a new service. Your family being one. That would be true if we get the same numbers or more. That has nothing to do with us offering pre or post. That has to do with the past and increasing the cost and other things. So yeah. the answer is no. Will we look at it next year? That's my yeah. personal feeling. I think okay. we have enough to worry about. Okay. <laughs> so, do we need a motion, or can it just be consensus not to change it? Well, we didn't have a motion yeah. to change yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. It was just a yeah. discussion and sued. How many campers do we have? Oh, um, the official one. Right now, um, twenty-six. Just us. Nice. <laughs> well, if, Jody's pulling her kids because she's taking extra kids. days <laughs> a week. So we have 26. 26. Campers. It's a nice intimate group. <laughs> campers, and we need um, well, 10 pre care, 6 post. Um, so it's going to be my kids and four other kids sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Jordan. 
<laughs> so that's 26 <laughs> campers that have been registered. And I did give out two or three registration forms at Open Studios to people outside of town. Oh, let me see. Sorry. That's okay, I'm done. It just came to my mind. I was um, speak. I don't know who I was speaking with, but um, the, they did not get anything in their classroom about rec yet. Has anybody else had that happen in their classrooms yet? No. No. Mm -hmm. okay. You need to get your beautiful flyer out. I so have those. I think the flyers bring. need to go back I'm out through the Dover schools, right. through our school, through the Dover schools. I'm seven, I'm sorry, I'm so. <laughs> but I'm wondering if they're not getting, may get to the teacher's mailbox, but it may not get to the students' backpacks. Oh, no, I meant going to the classrooms. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want, are you going tomorrow? Is it sooner the better, maybe? I could go tomorrow. It's up to you. Yeah. No, I'm great. Look at what he did to my teeth. Well, I think I'll have it. I'll send oh, it out. Okay. So, yeah, I'll take them. Um, yes. Yeah, they're fabulous. I'm going to do them. Word search and everything. <laughs> so, do you want them at the summer school team? Yeah, why not? We have to go through the SAU office. I thought they already gave us an okay. For the job posting. Yeah, they wouldn't oh. let me do it. I actually had already contacted the SAU. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you see what you did? Yeah, they wanted to promote their own. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's that over here? Just like Tri City wants to promote their own. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Dee is just magical, isn't she, with her computer skills? <laughs> so I'm going to try and get, I'd like to do something like that in two weeks. But if you guys can think of anything that needs to go on there. Donation of great. I also, um, I put up flyers. I know I told Dee when I told her, but flyers with the cutoff things went into Red Shoe Barn on their community bulletin board. And the Noggin Factory, I hung one up there. And then um, I had it at the Open Mills too, and some, I would leave for a baseball game, so we took one of my little tabs. So. <laughs> Did you have a copy of that? With the little tabs? Yeah. Or just the fly? Either. Hey, here's an idea. Do you want to do a photo blurb for me? Like a can't wait to see you at Camp Blurb? Yeah. From especially Brittany Powers. And I could do a little box. I got to put a if you want to cut them. Do you have an address? Do you not know? Should we add her? That was a question that came to my mind to our committee emails, like for rec committee. Mm -hmm. Oh, great idea! Yeah, and the Facebook page. Do we have any other um, perspectives? N e a t h b w k. Perspective um, management. Candidates? Yeah. Um, Do you want me to just go, go yeah, there? Yeah, we can talk to you about it. Do you want to skip to that? Oh, what, sir? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Jody, D, and myself interviewed Andy Gray. Um, when was that? Was that? Over a week ago. It was, it was a Friday. 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 And um, I, I think at this point, the three of us, the, what we've had problems with is contacting his references, whether they just haven't returned our phone calls or D finally got in touch with one reference today. Um, so I, I actually was in. Um, chat with Andy uh, today, and I said, "Yeah, I, 
can talk, you know, we need to talk to one other person. And so he, I told him when he, they could call me tomorrow. But um, I, I think the three of us really liked him. Like he's, what is his? Um, he's tw he, I don't know how, he's mid-20s, I would say. Mm -hmm. He graduated from Plymouth a couple years ago with a degree in policy management, and um, he's the head football coach at Farmington High School. Has been for full, this will be his second season. That's true. Um, he works in the Rochester School District right now and is working towards his special ed degree. Um, and he has been a head counselor in, our, in the Rochester Rec program. Either a year or two, I don't know, and um, and he currently works at the works, as well as Spalding High School. So um, he was very easy to talk to. I thought he seemed very confident and mm -hmm. self-assured and comfortable. And um, he has experience in safety, um, as far as playground safety, um, first aid safety. And he talked so a lot about that during the interview. Very aware. He's it's like his number one concern. He was talking a lot about. Like, Playground should have fences, and you're talking a lot about some of the things that I would expect somebody who's going to lead, you know, camp would want to talk about. Um, his supervisor gave a really, at the works, gave a really great recommendation for him. Um, said he seems to be, uh, he coaches, so when some of the kids come in um, to the works to talk to him, he seems to have that sort of coach student. Um, interaction with them, which is what we would want to be looking for, because he's he's going to be supervising, you know, staff. So he needs to have that ability to lead, and not, you know, be afraid to do that, even if somebody's close in age to him. Mm -hmm. um, so we felt very comfortable with that. Um, he seemed to, to me, he seems well rounded. He's got a, he's got a diverse background as far as special education, camp, coaching. So he's got a lot of the elements that we're you know, actually. Roxanne's coming in late. She was late, so she couldn't tell us so you were at Yeah, right. we were at the same place. Yeah. Um, so Kelly, are you saying that you want to just talk to one more reference first? And then yeah, I think so. Okay. I think if we if we get the similar positive, I, I think we should go ahead. And okay. They really are. We haven't had any other applicants, so I mean, it's kind of nice. Yeah, the, the one is pretty good. Or it seems pretty good. It seems like he's would be a pretty good fit. And yeah. It's hard to imagine that we're going to get anybody else at this point. It would be a better fit mm -hmm. than that, you know. But I like the special ed, and then he's got all that sports, you know, background. But he also is this has the special ed sensitivity too, so it's mm -hmm. kind of a nice mix. Yep. Um, how was your feeling about him dealing with like conflict resolution and angry parents or a disgruntled situation? Um, so I, I asked him. Um, a couple of questions about how he how he had handled things in the past. He's, he said he never really has had a conflict with a parent, um, but um, I don't care what he said about that. Like, <laughs> I thought he handled something well. Like, I guess he, in Rochester, yeah, they like people would drop off their kid and they weren't paid or whatever because they do a session group too. And, he had to turn kids away because they didn't tell him they were coming and they didn't have enough staff and so he actually had to turn kids away and he was he was confident enough to be able to do that so he had that because he was at they they had different layers of counselors in rochester because they had so many kids there but yeah he seemed really confident to be able to do stuff like that like i don't think he'll have a problem yeah. so it was his I supervisor that. that told me today that he parents do come in at the works with their kids and he coaches some of these kids and uh, his supervisor said that he's witnessed well, him speaking with parents, having a not so much a heart to heart, but just saying, look, I, yeah, no, he's struggling a little bit. You know, we just need to help him along. You know, just having conversations like that with parents, which to me is good, because he's trying to be on the same, same level, the coming from a, a place of caring and wanting to help. I, I really had no real hesitation. <clears throat> about him, even before we talked to the reference. So, so it was nice to get the positive, very positive reference today. So, yeah, that's, that's good. so you'll talk to the other reference. Yeah, and I think that's the athletic back. director from okay. um, where he's coaching. His salary expectations are in line with 
Well, you didn't even talk about that, which was interesting that that did not come up in conversation. Yeah, he never asked. Um, and we never we didn't speak to him about it. I was actually waiting to see if he was going to ask or try to negotiate based on the salary range that we have. Oh, so he, he knows the not. range. He does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was right on the yeah. App. yeah. So. And I did a little bit off topic for the job descriptions and an email to Caroline because she wanted that to put on Indeed.com mm -hmm. and I don't know if she was able to do that or not. I know she's been really busy, but she does have the information to post online free of charge to the city. Did we ever, was there, Jody, any follow-up on the UNH stuff? Did that ever? I totally forgot about that, but um, we haven't heard anything from them. They were supposed to host it for us. Oh, okay. Um, and the lady had a death in her family and then apologized and got back to us. Yeah, but I thought that there was a message on that last one that we were supposed to do something. So that was right before I left, so I didn't know if that actually, let me follow up on that. I don't know if that is even going to be available to us at this point in time. Because um, I think somebody had to post it on UNH. I think that was on our shoulders, the UNH um, career something website. Was it, uh, didn't Caroline take responsibility to? No, I don't think so. Oh. Well, you know what, I can, well, maybe if I can talk. You'll, I popped in. I'll, yeah, I'll look into that and I'll ask Caroline if that happened. Okay. Um, write that on my to-do list. So Brittany and I met today and we talked to, we had three counselors come in that we interviewed down at the library. Um, so two of them were over 18 and one was under 18. Um, the two over 18 were all elementary ed um, majors and were finishing their freshman year. And they, I don't know, they both seem great. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they seem excited and, and fun. And um, we have two more interviews that we're doing tomorrow down there. One, they're both under the age of 18, though. So I wanted to double check. The our our percentage was going to be. In, does that include the director and the assistant <coughs> director for being over 51 percent over oh, 18? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we do that, then we're okay. I mean, at this point in time, we only if we only have 30 counselors, uh, camp, uh, campers, we don't certainly need to hire all these people. So, I don't know. Yeah, before you got here, she was mentioning, most, is that the people you interviewed yes. part-time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that idea of being able to have coverage. That's great, because life happens. Yeah. So, we don't know if, you know, you know, somebody has to go away for something, someone hurts an ankle, chasing my son. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You never know. So, you're talking about um, the one that was, <laughs> yeah, part-time? Um, actually, this happened after we left, but I have a friend at home who could also Part time, so could they do the job yeah. share the Tuesday, Monday, Thursday? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be good. And I was also mentioning I got the leave, but it looks like they may have gotten another job. Okay. They put in for an internship. <laughs> <laughs> Those internships. Um, we have a mixture of male and female. Yeah, so if okay, we end good. up hiring Andy, then we, we have three potential um, males and four females right okay, now on the, on the plate. So, yeah. Um, right now we only need four counselors as of right now, right? <laughs> but, you know. So We're hoping that change. Need more. I'm sorry? Definitely more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We said three males and four females. Yep. But at least we seems like we have. Uh, after tomorrow, that yeah, will be done. Yeah. So if there were three we were girls today, ago. two boys tomorrow, <laughs> we end up being higher. I feel like there, yeah. are, there are some of the work, too. I feel like I've been contacted a few yes. times about like, sending mine and sending mm -hmm. mine. So. And you're going to get a flood of people at that last minute because mm -hmm. there's lots of me and lusters that are last minute, like, oh, what do I do with kids now? So. Why are you going to put me in Because <laughs> 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 we don't read the whole thing. <laughs> Did you register so you're part of yeah. the 26? 
Well, I thought we were going to get paid 2018 to double our $8. You'd expect. Can I have the agenda? Um, so, yeah, so working on staff. Can I just kind of, can I run down my list of stuff and then that way? Is it, mess up. Was it staffing? Uh, no, I'm done with staffing, I think. <laughs> well, where do you want to? What do you want to talk about? Uh, well, I don't really know. I, I, uh, I texted the president of the REF. Um, to talk about our grant and for doodlebugs, um, and she told me they're meeting on the 17th to finalize that. So we should have an answer about that grant. Mm -hmm. um, they, they they did discuss us the last time. There wasn't enough people for a quorum, so they could not finalize that vote. But they, she kind of said they liked it. So that was um, one thing. Brittany, did you discuss the, the figure printing? No. So Brit Brittany and another girl <clears throat> have our subs at RGS. Do they need to be re-fingerprinted for this job? I don't think so, but I'll double check with you. Okay. I just know I had to go down to the SAU to do it. I didn't come here, so I didn't tell them. If that would be... Yeah, because I think you would send it to the, to the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. think right, you're going to the state. Right. So. Yeah. so I will double check with you. Okay. Doesn't hurt to send any. <laughs> so that wasn't that question. Um, I looked into, oh, the CNJ backs of the t-shirts about that little blurb that we want to put on there. I have sent them like three emails asking the same question and I have yet to receive any type of response. So I don't know what we do with that. We just go with it and put on whatever we want to put on the shirt. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I've asked them three times. I'm like, is this okay? But so um, she hasn't responded to that. Um, I researched and I didn't know if we wanted this for our counselors. I researched our little portable first aid um, packs. So if we're walking off property, do we need something to go? And there's a couple different um, costs in there. Um, there was one little kind of that you could wear as like a fanny pack around your neck or um, they did something else in there. You know, it basically has band room for band-aids and a couple things, and then it did have room though for a cell phone and maybe keys in that type of pack, and that was only they were only about seven dollars. Um, I don't know if we want to investigate purchasing a few of those. Where did you find those? I looked on um, Amazon for that. I was hoping to find something on Amazon Prime so that I could have it shipped for free. Mm -hmm. But I didn't find anything, you know, that those run the gamut of this was the cheapest one at 668, but they're looking at two dollars and forty-five cents shipping. Um, well that one was empty. So those were just basic. The one that had stuff in it that um, was seven dollars and ninety cents and it was two dollars and forty-five cents shipping and that had was included a bunch of basic supplies in it. Um, anybody have a feeling on that either way? No, as long as it has everything in it that's required. How big does it include it? Do we know it has to be in them? Is, it, is there a guideline? Do um, we know? Uh, around Christmas time, mm -hmm. I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond, I went and got these uh, little tubes that have first aid kits in them that are Band-Aid stickers. Are they well, portable? Okay. I mean, that's the only thing I was kind of like, if we're hiking through the woods, like it's a pain in the neck to carry, like if they can put it on their body is all I was thinking of. So I was looking at the fanny pack thing or the... I mentioned the fire the thing already or, has something <clears throat> or can get it at a better cost. Ooh, okay. So I will email the chief. All right. Okay. I love when I pass these things off to the chief. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we do it to Suzanne all the time. I kept you doing it. And fire chief, right? Mm. 
So the, the last kind of thing, and I, I believe I sent that. Jody, did I send you the thing about the type 1 diabetes child? I'm going to say no. I did not send it to you? <laughs> I, I honestly <laughs> or knowing the question. <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but I will tell the question. Um, so, I, I, so we have had a request for somebody, can, oh, yes. Yes, can their child be a part of their camp mm -hmm. with type 1 diabetes? And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a sticky situation, so Nancy's over there shaking her head, too. <laughs> um, it's going to require nursing. Right. Well, that's why I talked to the nurse at the grade school. So I called her and she said, well, you could have, um, you know, hire a nurse for that, which would be very expensive. Or, um, I did talk to the Barrington rec person tonight, and they have two kids with type 1 diabetes in their camp. And um, she says they have explicit ex instructions from the family about if this is at this level, they must do this, if this is at this level, but they have taken on the responsibility of of checking with those two kids. And she did say it's a huge library. Mm -hmm. So, um, what most camps would do is that it's up to the child to check their own sugars, and it's up to the child to, if they have a pump or whatever, mm -hmm. but we do not have the staffing to administer insulin. So, well, Do we know if it's an insulin pump or if they are able to administer their own medication? They're fairly new with the diagnosis, so I think they're feeling things out. So yeah. I would, ra I would rather, as well, that's what she, the very <coughs> woman said that you should probably check with your town administrator. That's about what liability. Can we use criminy? Ah, mm -hmm. that's a good question. You're not, you're not putting your, it depends on your level of liability. Right. Yeah. 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 So your liability insurance doesn't allow you to administer, there's there's laws that a nurse has to administer insulin. I'm a hygienist, I'm not allowed to insulin, administer insulin. A paramedic has to administer insulin. A fire department EMT has to administer insulin. Now you're getting into the nitty gritty of HIPAAs and um, what you can do legally as a professional. So you're not discriminating against, you're just saying, I don't have the staff, I don't have the right personnel for that. Yeah, it's a hell of a I get what you're saying. Yeah. I, get, I understand what you're saying. Right. I like, just, I have to turn people away because they're in a specific wheelchair and it doesn't fit in my room. So, that's just the way it is. So if they brought a lawsuit on the town, that's up to them, not me. If so care, it's it's not our liability for your for for to administer your child's diabetes at, at school they have to go to the school nurses not the teacher right right so the teacher ha that's why you have a school nurse we don't have a school nurse at summer camp so and summer camp is not a right. It's not like school is a right. School is school is school. Summer camp is summer camp. Yeah, as long as there's no legal implications, like we cannot say you can't come to camp because absolutely you have a wheelchair and you can't come to camp because you have crutches and you can't come to camp because you have exactly. this medical condition. Mm -hmm. As long as there's no legal implications, then I'd say we don't want to take on the liability. Yeah, you are than welcome to come, but we are not administering your child's insulin. Your child is going to be responsible for their own insulin. If you have an eighth grader, they're more than capable. If you have a first grader that's newly diagnosed, think that's not capable. Yeah, I think it's that sort of situation, too. I don't think it's a first grader, but it's not, you know. Uh, it's like so, so, do we say no, decision. or do we say... It's up to their decision. Do we say we will take no liability and be not involved at all in treatment?
treatment and testing and so forth. And here's a paper that you have to sign saying you understand that. It's already in the packet. Yeah, it is in the packet. Yeah. We will not administer any medication. Yeah. So, all right. <clears throat> so, I will respond to that. Did anybody, speaking of responses, but I get, and this will be my last thing for the night, maybe, on my list. Um, <clears throat> The email that we got from somebody from Summersworth, did it, did everybody see that? Which one was it? About about busing after yes. A S B. Did anybody know what those were? So I Jody, I had sent you the text about that. That was what I was referring yeah, to. Yeah, that was the summer had, school. Yeah, it was yeah. they do the E what do you call it? E S I forgot what they call it. ESY, extended school. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. okay. I was wondering um, what those initials were for. She was asking if the, <laughs> the kids from Summersworth get bus to could get bus to Rollinsford and before I could even tell her no, um, she already had it worked out. So she's registering her two kids and just dealing okay. with the transportation on the Okay. Oh, okay. So you responded. Mm -hmm. Oh. I, I thought I caught, I'm sorry. I thought You're I fabulous. All, all right. Comment. That was my last question. I'm done. Okay. okay. Anything else? Uh, <laughs> no, but we are on the Lester. I don't know where you guys send these emails because I don't get these emails. <laughs> I don't know. About, about, yes, so. <coughs> <laughs> this agenda I didn't get, but hey, as long as I keep getting your emails, I guess about money, that's all that matters. I don't know. I will check. Um, yeah, can we check, do you think? For him? I just check my never gets on spam mail. mail. The only thing I get is like emails from you, or you sent me a direct email, but I don't get any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Can we go back to um, registration? I have a check for the um, guild that wants a sponsor. Um, campers. Okay. Okay. That's good. Celia. So, but yeah, we'll okay. Go ahead. Down there. Okay. Didn't you send them one email about that? Who sent one? Caroline sent an email. Did everybody see that email? Yeah. Let's look back to that. We're going to go to Lester. Let's go to Lester. What? It's going down the agenda. We skip Lester. Do you want me? document that at all or no? Yeah, I will get to you more in a minute. So, okay. Uh, yes. All right. I got that, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Plus, did you get my email? <laughs> your archaic phone. <laughs> That's an apple on the back and all. All right. Um, Are you still using AOL? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm just having up now. Um, so I'm waiting for that because they'll think I'm not on the Wi-Fi here though, so that's probably why. Um, anyway, um, so I mean the only thing that I've gotten is those two emails that you sent to me. Mm -hmm. So at this point, um, it's in the last month, we've not spent anything more than the 235 on the field trips, mm -hmm. right? All right. And then at this point, we have uh, 51, 14, 23 in total income, 51, 14, 23. Um, nothing changed on fundraisers. Um, we got uh, 420 for uh, registration. 2180 for tuition, and then uh, because we're holding a hard line on those pre and post fees, <laughs> we got we got 480 for each, um, and then t-shirt sales we got seven more dollars. So we're at 159. Okay. Bring you my check. All right. Uh, I will go ahead. So can you just send me the? <clears throat> Do we want the numbers in the minutes or no? Is there anything where we can't? No. Okay. Yeah. So can you send me a list of the incomes? I will reply to an email that I'm attached to if I ever get one. He wants to be in the loop. <laughs> no, I did not get that, by the way. Well, Suzanne is doing it, but I'm her contact for this committee. So, <laughs> so I will email her. So was that was that email off of a distribution list, or did you 
Yes. I just typed in Mark Committee, yeah. which is supposed yeah. to send it to everybody. Did you get my meeting notes? Those were notes for There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Somehow you got to leave it. It is what it is. Um, so that's basically where we're at. Okay. So, unless you haven't spent any more money that I don't know about. Thank you. Oh, nothing's come through for us. Nothing. Okay. okay. Good. Um, where are we now? Or up to t-shirts. So, Lester, updated numbers for you on a post-it so they don't have to come through on a... Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, community shirts, total sold 28, it includes, <laughs> that's actually really good, it includes two that came in at Open Studios from Kelly, dropped off, um, yeah. on the community order, <laughs> so total income is $288, cost to the committee is $175.50, and our profit is $112.50. Nice. Okay. And those are just the gray community shirts. Right. So sold 28, so uh, we charged, so we charged whatever, 28 divided by 288. Mm -hmm. What is the cost? 650 each, right? No, what? That's the, how much we're paying to have them. So it's 650 each. But we have not paid that to yet. Be made. No. So, uh, as far as I, I we, but we have $288 that we've brought in. Yes. Okay, so I, I'm at this point just concerned about 288. Okay. And so I was trying to break it down so I knew how much profit we were making on our shirts. Um, so we have 20 kids that are in my database for registration. Of the 20 kids, 13 of them are either single or first registrations, and then seven are paid for, and about half have paid already, and half are we're still waiting on payments for. And I have not received any further payments since we spoke. And this is on top of the $159 worth of shirts. No, that includes the $159. Can I just change? It's okay. It's a new number. It's a it's new, new overall number. New overall number. So it's not on top of the. All right, I'll figure out some. All right. <laughs> so delete. <laughs> Can she record it to you in a different way? Just, just give me any new stuff that you got. Don't, don't okay. keep adding it, and then I'll just mm -hmm. add it. Okay. okay. Got it. New shirt sales. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm up again. Only new info. I know we talked about ordering extra shirts too. Yes. Right, because our deadline to get the campus shirts in is May 20th. Yes, right. Everything. And so, we, uh, Kelly, we talked last meeting about, well, we're going to obviously have registrations after, well, <laughs> after May 20th. <laughs> so, we should order extra shirts. Yeah, and so, so we're, we want to absolutely at our next, out. at our, we have to yeah, have, we're going to have to put out some cash for that, I think. So. Um, so at our next meeting, we need to have our final numbers because they're going in the following day or right around our next meeting. Uh, the 21st of the Sunday, or the 20th of the 4th. But the flyer, I have it for the t-shirts because I took it to with me. And it does say May 20th on it, too. Let's see if I grab it. So is that is May twenty first? That, 21st. that May deadline 21st. is also for us and for camp. Like that's the deadline for all shirts, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, I think I think we just gotta do a bulk order at that point and just play the guessing game. And so we need to know sizes at the yep. next meeting. We need to sit down and discuss sizes that we yep. want for campus kids, and then extra community shirts we want to order. And then if push comes to shove, all of the shirts will be in uh, the week of June twelfth. So we'll have two weeks before camp starts, and we can do a rush order. They'll already have like the prints, yeah. the screens made. So if we need more, we can get more. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. But they may not be ready for the first day of camp. So. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Tell me that day again. I should... May come first, and there's okay. a poster about it out there too. Okay. So I can't <coughs> it. And. We should probably in the next couple of weeks I'll post something about it online and try and get 
So is that so the, our next rec meeting is the twenty first. So is that kind of will will you talk to Kristen after our meeting day? Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to her Monday morning because I can plan to put it in Monday morning. Okay, perfect. Um, I got your email, Jody. Jody, I got your email. <laughs> Anyone want to photo forward Jody's email to Lester at Yahoo.com? That, that's fine. Maybe that's what the problem yeah. is. Did you not sign up for a Gmail? You were supposed to do a Gmail account. Because she re refuses to send emails to anyone that does not have a Gmail account? I don't know. Prejudice <laughs> against <laughs> non Gmailers? You don't think we needed no. to do that? I thought that's why I signed up for a I Gmail account. account. Yeah. Oh, oh you don't have Gmail, but hey. you get the emails. Again, going back to something about me. I was <laughs> saying, <laughs> I'm, yeah. yeah. Me too. All right, so, Ooh, Celia, are funny. we all set with t-shirts? Yeah, just a second. Um, next meeting. Oh, hold on, I just got an email from D. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Still bypassing the whole group. We'll show the sun in the CPR. And did anybody want to feel, I did bring tonight the t-shirts that we're ordering, probably this color, Ooh. different sizes, so if you can use one size. Is that, oh, that's nice and dark, yeah, so the dirt won't show. Yeah, they'll get nice and hot wearing them, come home all sweaty. So this is an adult small? Is this? Um, maybe. And what color do we decide the counselors are? Everybody's in blue, blue, um, but they'll have staff in the bright That's green. That's right. I got avoided by that myself for a while. I remember now. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Keep That's it up. That's pretty big. Yeah, I'm not. I never ordered it's a small. It's a men's. So I think this is, must be a men's small. That's how they usually do it. Then really? usually when you order, you're ordering in a men's size. Yeah, yeah that's the adult small. The child small. Wow, because I think I picked an adult small for one of my kids, and that's really they quite should. large. They're going to tie it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they'll tie it, hair yeah. tie it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kids love this back in their shirt. Shrink. Tie it in back. What's the blend? It's a double-edged though. 100% cotton. Oh, well, it's a shrink. It's a pre-shrink. Pre oh. I like these. I feel tiny in these. Made yeah. in yeah. Honduras, <laughs> and this is cold. an adult one. Was that, that was a, that was a double. This is a child small. Right. Oh, that's tiny. This must be a child's medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the child. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. She's and we should probably get the oh, yeah. staff that we hired. Yeah. So that's part of the return paperwork, the offer letter. Where's Brittany? Where's the adult small for you? Oh, this is it. That's the adult small. Really? I'm like, oh, boy. So Brittany needs a small. I'll have to find out if it's on Jordan's offer. Do they have extra small? For Brittany? What, what, what's on Jordan's offer, Larry? Uh, the this size. She should have filled out like the size. Uh, this, I think, is an adult small. This looks like a kid's small. Yeah, she probably doesn't. Yeah, this is the medium. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan's about the same size. Yeah. 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 You want a, a, you want a youth? Yeah. XL? Uh, <laughs> there is no, your youth medium. There is no adult X, or youth XL because I had somebody who tried to buy an like adult or no, not an adult, but a youth XL. I had to bump them up to an adult small. Yeah, yeah. Small. I don't think. And they're the same size basically. And mm -hmm. so yeah. She's yeah. tall, but doesn't have a lot of meat on her bones. I don't think we need meat. That is I What size is that? Yeah, oh, that looks perfect. This is it's an adult. Large. We always, the kids can always switch. I mean, let's be honest. It's going to be cut. Yeah. All right, then. I mean, I wrote smalls for my kids, the boys. First thing she can do. I think I'm going to change Shelby, though. Unless her boss makes some really hell. Well, you had an adult extra small. There's one person. Did you bring that? <laughs> There's an adult extra small on there. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we have extra small. An adult extra small? Yeah. No, it's no. the same size as an adult, or as a child's extra large. Oh, okay. It's just a little longer. Mm. So there's the child. Oh, I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but I, I got to leave in a couple minutes. I just didn't know if there's anything that I need to know.
Yes, we've had a donation come in for two hundred and forty dollars, and that's the only financial donation that's come in so far. Besides, besides the two hundred. Besides the twelve fifty. Twelve hundred. Anything else besides yes, the twelve hundred? Besides the twelve hundred for CMJ. I don't think there's anything I else. Think there's I I, I, I How much did she say that donation was? Here for a few minutes. So. I will check it out gently. Oh, perfect. I just got another email. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, I believe there's another donation, but I, I can't confirm that. But I, I came by today really quickly. And, um, I have a file. I think there's something in here. Oh, you do have the file. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a donation in there. Good, because I've been to a couple places. Kathy's been to a bunch of places. And we just want to, um, and I made seven dollars at Open Studios as donations. <laughs> Woo! That's good. So, that's good. Yeah. Let's see, that's a, another random donation. Seven dollars. Well, we and forty. We, we yeah. Do you need more post-its? I have a yeah, stack. No, no. 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 Like right. <laughs> <laughs> They're only doing single practices, so he yeah, said that's yeah. okay. But there were a couple days in July that he was doing heat off, so that was kind of. Where are you doing? Doing. Did you find it, Dee? Uh, maybe. So I'm gonna uh, let her look. Is, and Kathy and I met. It's from. And um, um, there might just be a join us. Receipt in there. I'm guilty of not opening. <laughs> oh, yes. so you get them. You I have them. used the. You yeah. use them. Okay. I'll that's forward seven, them to you. <laughs> and I'll open them and read them. Yeah, yes. that's what That $7 was I'm sorry, was that open? Open. 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 All, all of the summer so we got we got a um, <laughs> uh, we got a donation of $250 from the Victoria Righteous Fund. Yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. What's that? $250 from the Victoria Righteous Fund. Here, you can look at that. She was a, a student at. Mm -hmm. um, Went to volunteer grade school. Her mom taught there for years and for years, and she just recently passed away from breast cancer. So there's. And I know her mom. Yeah. And her mom serves on the board. So, so we, what we don't know if well, I guess we don't know if that's for tuition or not. This one we believe is for tuition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't say. So. Yes, this one's for tuition. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Do you need to see this for any reason? Uh, if we, yes, if it's good. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it back. I'm just gonna all um, initial in the corner to let her know that I've seen it. So do you want to take that? I want to contact her and ask her if it's for. Um, I'm gonna take down the address. Okay. And. For right now, I actually have an email contact, so I can I can reach out to. Um. So. So here you go, Kathy. Okay. So moving on to my next section is, uh, as I was saying, Kathy and I met. We've been handing out these letters, and I've been putting postcards on the back of donated things. We have a list of places we've been to. The Police Pro Avalon Society is meeting, or association is meeting tonight, so they should be getting us a donation too. The chief of police asked me what I'd like to see, um, goods or donation, and I said a financial donation to help scholarship would be wonderful. And then it gets one more possible mischief maker off the street for the summer. How about um, a pool table? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I have not received any incoming goods. I've just dropped off the letters, and um, I've only had a conversation with one person. And it looks like they will be due. Um, the person I talked to was the manager at Weeksy's Pizza in Dover. 
because I took my kids in there last week. And he said he'd like to donate a um, hundred pizzas. No, <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> gift cards for pizza. Oh, so, perfect. Um, we, in the, we Tease Pizza of Dover is going to be sending over gift cards for pizzas. That's so awesome. We may not have to buy pizzas over the summer. Yes. I'm waiting. <laughs> before I go to any other, like, <laughs> before I go to too many more places, I'm asking, I'm waiting to see if this donation comes in so we don't get an onslaught of pizza donations or whatever. Yes. So what if we do with all those hairs? I'll take a few. Okay, so I will go out. Um, That's really fantastic. So I was had a conversation with Dee and Kathy last weekend. I went to the town because I looked up um, getting donations from some of the national places that are in Dover and stuff, like Applebee's and um, 99s and stuff. And because we're a town entity, we're tax exempt, which means that margaritas and 99s who do those benefit dinners, you go in in a certain it's percentage, like 10 yeah. go to a tax exempt or a nonprofit, we could partake in those and we could keep the money. However, and people can give donations and it's tax exempt to the fullest extent of the law. Mm -hmm. There is one which, if they give money to scholarship, that may not be tax exempt. Right now, we've had one inquiry, and now we only have one scholarship fund. So I've been putting little post-its on here that says, <coughs> currently we are in most need of financial support to fund our scholarship program for the local children. Because if we can get four or five scholarships, then maybe we can help those families that are turn, being turned away on um, pre and post care, say, we can give you a break or something, because we can cover it, or <clears throat> something like that. Did you no, we're not paying that, for pre and post yeah. care on scholarship. We okay. Said that. Um, and did you we leave the, pay the pre and post care. Did you read the email that was sent out? Today, yes. From Caroline. Mm -hmm. I have not read it. <laughs> so Caroline sent out an email today that said we need that to, yeah. scholarship money will not transfer over <clears throat> year to year. Um, according to the auditor, the select board has the choice if we raise more money than we use to add it into next year's budget. But there is no guarantee that each year the select board will do that. This current select board chair, I think, said she was willing to look into that possibility? I don't well, know. What we'll have to do is to create a reason to revolving fund just as the historical committee is trying to do. And there's, it's just a matter of putting it to vote. So that's not... So, so I, I don't think that'll be an issue from next year because it'll be a vote this year. So it'll be so, in March of like 2018. I'm really not worried about over getting the money right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little worried about breaking even because there's no. Hey, I'll email you. Um, um, thank you, Lester. Yeah. Yeah. Someone email me when the next meeting is. May 21st, it's already posted. 7 p.m. What day week is that? Sunday. Sunday. We're back to Sundays. We're back to Sundays? Yeah. May 21st. Got it. All right. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Thank you. See you thank later. You, so you email it to make sure you get, get you can still get the emails after you leave. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your help, Buster. We're going to so, talk about you um, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> I have made some additional names on the list that was given to me, and I don't know how you guys feel about it. Yeah. I've been dropping them off at places I could get in Dover. And so forth too. Uh, I told Kathy I dropped one because I, I was going to Fort Smith. I dropped one off at the travel agency next door, mm -hmm. Horizon Travel. And I've come up with a couple other places here in town that were not on our list that include affordable oil, um, Susie, or I'm not saying Susie Plumbing. Susie Plumbing in here. Bear Electrical, Atlantic Recycling Equipment, and Clearwater. They're right next to each other. Clearwater yeah. water drilling. Yeah. And Paul's Integrity Auto and Jane Co. So I don't know if people have 
connections there, or if I should just pop my head in. I don't have any connections in. No, I stopped in at North Country Heart Cider. That was a big deal on my part. But, but, um, <laughs> She walks right by it. Yeah, it twisted my arm. I had to go in. Um, so, so, Kathy and I had a discussion about North Country. Now, they can give us a donation, but from what I understand, they have to be anonymous because they, we can't endorse drug and alcohol in a kids program. But they could donate goods. Right? Right? <laughs> they can, they can, like, uh -huh, like a croquet set and some badminton sets, and that's what I went in there for. Okay. I know all those guys. So if they want to donate goods and don't have to um, say where it's coming from, then that's fine. So, but I'm trying to think of every place in town and place I frequent out of town, so I can drop these off and hopefully get enough money to break even. Because this is the we don't know how many scholarships we're going to have to give out. Yeah. And we only have right now enough to cover one scholarship. And But we haven't had many requests for that at all. No. Right? Because we haven't advertised it. Right. But we might bring up our numbers if we have scholarships. Yeah. Mm. I'm, um, I it's know. a slippery slope. But it is. Mm -hmm. Getting back to pizza. Um, <laughs> yeah, cider. And, uh, and hard yeah. cider. <laughs> tried the, the new place in Summersworth the other day. Old, ra old, old rail. Old rail. Pretty good. Oh, I don't think they're kind of a new. Pizza. They might be looking to get the get the get their name out. Well, and actually, you know what? We talked about sporting goods. Did you have you guys gone? I, Celia, have you, did you um, ask Target by any chance? I have not, but I had thought about them. Because somebody over the weekend when we were here for the chocolate tasting said that Target gave like, I don't know if it was like $40 or something for, so I was like, I don't know if they'll donate, be willing to donate some goods. Yeah, sporting goods. You know, sporting goods. goods. Yeah. That's where I saw all the fun stuff. Yeah. Like I was like, oh my God, we want a croquet uh, set, we want a, a horseshoe a, set, we want. The woman who lives across the street from us friends, her daughter's friends with my youngest, um, she works with friends, so I think that's her. All right, put Dan on that one. So Kelly, I also have you down for three of them, contacting yeah. Sam Hall Electric, North yeah. Country Cider, and Aqua Paradise. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you want one yes, of these? Yes, give me one of those, because I don't uh -huh. have those full things, so let me. And you can, do you want them with the post-its or without the post-its, saying we're looking for financial assistance? No, I don't care. Okay. Here. Whatever you want to give me. No, I think I, I think I want goods out of them. No. <laughs> I'll yeah. give you one. Why don't you give me a few here? Um, we're just carrying on. So every place that I'm going to, I'm dropping them off, whether it be in town or out of town. Yep. And I'm just awesome. trying to bring in some money. And I'm going to forward our list. So if you go anywhere else, yep. just let me know. Yeah. Um. I, or, I went to where I was told, like where you had my name. Yeah. So, but if you think of any other place you want to go, let me know. Um, and we'll get this list to Caroline so she knows who we've talked to and which possible donation coming in would be directed towards us. Because she told me the other day she's getting checks in and she doesn't know where they're supposed to go. Did I send her? You sent her one, and I sent down with her too, and, I, they, and then I went in today. And I, so. um, I sent her that um, spreadsheet. So she was going to listen today. <laughs> she showed me upstairs, though. I was like, that place is fabulous up there. Who's going to restore that? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Billy, have you heard back from Caroline on that? Which About, one? About uh, keeping track of the payments that are coming in for. Well, I, I sat down with her last week, and I, I'm, I'm trying to stop in there at least once a week and to go through what has come in and to double check. Like, something came in today that did not, there was a check that did not have the registration fee on it. So, um, I don't know in the future if, if that needs to be more clear. I, I personally feel like it's pretty clear, but... 
Well, it's clear to me. Right. It, it wouldn't be so clear to her because she's not taking care of the, the paperwork. Right. Which well, she should be. But it's not. Really but the woman, the person who came in, wrote a check for without the registration fee. Mm -hmm. So I just happened to be there, and so I said, "Oh well, let me call her." So I called her right then, and I said, "I'm sorry, but your check is short. The registration fee, and you're going to need to send that in." Mm. So it wasn't a big deal, but like, you know, I just. Yeah, I feel like if they can check off that front of the sheet, it's very clear. But mm. I know she's got other things on her plate, so yeah. Um, I thought that was going to happen after I went in last week, but it didn't. So well, I sent her the home right up to hopefully make things easier. Yeah. So when she gets a chance, maybe. So I'll just pop yeah. in. I like to pop in on Fridays, and it seems like that's when stuff comes in, and I can double check things. So, okay. so I had one other thing come by email. Michelle, I think, Turk, she wrote the whole committee an email. About t-shirts? About a her t-shirt. Her t-shirt. I did respond to her and I carbon copied Caroline on it saying that her, I had received her shirt order because that was the day I met you here mm -hmm. and that was her order that came in. And um, so her check came in to Salme that day or something. Because Caroline was in a meeting, and I said, hopefully Caroline can figure out where your payment was, because I never saw the payment. Mm -hmm. um, but it did have a sticker that said received on it. So, um, and I said that somebody else would be getting back to her about her donating um, her skills. Yeah, I emailed her today, and uh, I haven't got her back. But I think it was yesterday. It was her and her sister that wanted to. Yeah. So I, we'll see what she. I have no idea what she had in mind. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that going out with the tax thing for all our volunteer residents that we? Did you write up a little thing for no, Selma no. here? To go oh, in, I did. To go yeah, she she did get all the information. Okay, yeah. perfect. So that's going out to residents of Rollinsburg. Oh, that we want talent? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We're looking for talent. Oh, great. We'll let those three in do, you have, um, <laughs> do you remember there was a lady at the um, like meeting that's watercolor? Yeah, I can send you her name. Okay. It's, I think that would be great. Oh, and my mother ran into somebody in the grocery store today that said, do you guys want donations of yarn? I have. Hundreds of, I don't even know how much yarn, but I said, yep, we'll take it. And I bumped into somebody at the mill, stopped by my table. She works at TJ Maxx, and she says she gets coloring books and stuff dirt cheap in there. And if she gets extras, she would put them in. Oh, so sounds good. She will. All right. Okay. Um, Is that just a question? Um, Brittany, you might know this. Um, is there, where would you store like games and non-sporting goods type stuff? Is there? Uh, it depends on the, what spots we do have. I know we're planning on having a gym and a teacher's room and hopefully a classroom. Is that right? One classroom. Yeah, room, right? I think yeah. We, we got the classroom. Oh, Is okay. going to be in the annex? Do we know that no, yet? No, but it will be, know. um, yes, if, um, oh, and okay. then so. when it rotates when they need to be, right. they'll be done with the annex and we'll have one. So during so summer rec, we can we'll have an yeah, a pretty we'll good set of space for yeah. you know. Yeah. Teachers on to make it keep board games mm. anyway. Yeah. Usually, we try to keep. Uh, in the past, the crafts have been kind of just in a bin, and then the board games were just out on the table. Mm -hmm. But if we have an actual classroom, kind of in just one room, mm -hmm. we can separate them a little bit more. In the freezer, yeah, the teachers. The kids have Mm -hmm. up, but the room being up there, and they really don't want the kids trying yeah, to do the slide. Yeah, that's going to be They really don't want them yeah. to go past the gym. <laughs> I mean, that room's yeah. available like rainy day because all the kids in there to color are a group that wants mm -hmm. to do this, but they do not want them trying to do the school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Are we allowed to use the stage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Then the stuff can just go up on the stage. I mean, that's the art right now, yeah. isn't it? The stage? It's yeah. Cool. I mean, <laughs> Basically, you know, just like once you go to parents, you know, if it's a nice day out, you know, 
There's much you might, you probably I think should we should just, just start, start from over. scratch. Yeah. Yeah. This a, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of things that are probably salvageable, but, um, yeah. This um, yeah. So it sounds like we have a pretty nice start, start with what was donated and then everything else we need to buy more, too. Yeah. I yeah. brought in the Yatsi game. It's like a close place. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. better than yet. <laughs> My kid then <laughs> opened it in two years. I was like, all right. Oh, I'm, I'm planning a major yeah. purge yeah. of our yeah. <laughs> It's still in the plastic wrap around it. Yeah, there you that's go. going. And the doors. Yeah, so, yeah. Puzzles so I guess yeah. that's. <clears throat> no, no, no. I didn't want to drop. Do we know how big the shed is? Square footage. Yeah. What do you think? Is it like 10 by 12? Or yeah, it's probably going 10 by 12. <laughs> Half the size of this room, three quarters? Is it just like one of those double door, like something you would get? So I'm gonna, because Blythe is asking me right now, I'm gonna say no more than eight by ten. Could be a ten by twelve. I think ten by twelve would be. It sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, because when you think of an easy up the ten by twelve, I think it's about the same size. So we have the garden to do, we have the library, um, we have the um, explorer program, um, we have, um, yeah. <laughs> but like I, I think that as we get closer <coughs> and I'll contact the person for the, um, the water, Color, um, the water painting. Yeah. Um, but I think that as we see the ages of the campers, that will help us determine what to plan. What do you think, Brittany? I don't know what the watercolors are. Just like oh, oh, water I mean, um, it was someone from town that was going to volunteer to show how to do watercolor painting. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, um, um, I think that a lot of it that would be more age mm -hmm. appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I can probably tell you half of your sixth or eighth graders aren't going to want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you might start losing a couple of fourth and fifth graders. It's definitely more of a one through three thing. I think mm -hmm. would be your age range for that. Mm -hmm. That's still the way to go. Yeah, my. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, question. 
question about the community, the connections and stuff. Doodlebox, is she going to do everybody that's in camp, or is it an optional thing? Because um, that'll depend on, that'll affect the bottom line. Well, I think that should be an op. I, I mean, I think that should be a choice of campers. You know, we're not going to make kids hmm. sign up for something like that. They're not interested, right? So that will help with money also. You know, if there's 20 kids that want to do it, the only thing that might be different is some of the kids that might not want to do it, once once it all starts to happen, I wonder if they'll be like, oh, I changed my mind, I don't want to do that too much. But there's no added fee, it's part of camp, right? You're not adding, you're not saying... You're it depends, Joey. It depends because if we... The, the amount of money that REF is going to give us wouldn't cover, probably wouldn't cover every camper. Yeah. If. No. So that's why I think getting in some extra dollars helps, because it helps fund that program for kids who wouldn't be able to afford it to do it. And I don't want to bring any program in that says you can't do it because your mommy didn't pay. I refuse mm -hmm. to let that happen. If you're going to bring something in, it's for everybody. And if the cho child chooses not to do it, then that's fine. But there is no way that I'm going to say, you can't do it because your mommy didn't pay the five bucks. Right. Or, sorry, or your parent didn't pay the five dollars. And that's sorry. where I'm coming from, too. It's like, do I, I, I can't, I can. Do we need, <clears throat> how many scholarships do we want and how many, like, the money that came in from the Victoria Righteous Fund, do we want to put that towards activity fees so that more kids can participate in, like the doodle bugs thing, or we can put it towards bringing in the Seco Science Center for a day with aquatic life, or bringing in wildlife encounters for a day, which everybody can partake in. So you're talking about the, the sponsors and donors who are not being specific about where the money goes, right? Right. So where else would we meet? It, so it would be for activities, it would be for busing, it would be for what, what else? Um, if they were to sponsor some, uh, the sporting equipment. Yeah, so so that we could go pick out what we need, and then we don't have to reference a list, oh, we already have that, or something like that. And get duplicates of things. So my opinion is if we have additional monies that's not dedicated to other things, we should probably use them for activities. Toward activity. That's that's my opinion. I don't know about else. Well, at this point, we're going to need a whole bunch of art supplies and yeah, because right now we, the stuff. first week we've designated um, tie dye shirts. Yeah. And so they, you have the camper has to bring in the white shirt, but we still need the tie dye right materials for that. So we know we've already designated that, and then whatever else falls each week, we'll just be free. Mm -hmm. Determine. When did I miss the tie-dye thing? Oh, it's been on the schedule forever. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in a white t-shirt. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Do you want the color coordinated one? Tia's So, <laughs> if we... to make that decision. Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's, just, it's something to think about. So Definitely we, something to think about. You know, we're promoting this campus being fun and interactive and having a good time and to be able to offer that to yeah. kids is, you know, I think really important. So as far as the community coming in, you know, and offering their services, do you think, Brittany, that, um, I don't want to ask people or when people offer their services, we want to make sure that the um, campers are going to be interested or attentive, right. like you just mentioned with the, the watercolor. Yeah. And, yeah. So um, I kind of think that um, we don't want to schedule anything without your no, input. In right. right. Yeah. Is this something that has to be scheduled way out, or can you like get a feel for it and then? Okay. 
My, this is my wish. My wish is we have a list of people, what they're offering, yeah. right? And then we pa I say we pass it through, have a sign-up sheet. Like, this is what's mm -hmm. going to happen, you know, next week or whatever. We have these two people coming in. Right. Yeah. Right. Are you sign interested? Up. Sign up. I mean, yeah. and if they don't sign up, I, I don't think we... It's like, I mean, that, that could... Thank you, but... Maybe it's, a, maybe it's like <laughs> a... Because they were really... You know, we don't have many kids this week. It would be best we try toward the end of the program. Other kids will be interested. Yeah, maybe there was like a two-hour block where, you know, one of these people could come in and certain kids would sign up. Those who didn't, go play softball or basketball. Right. Kids who want to be active. I guess Kathy's worried that nobody's going to sign up, huh? Is that right? Well, these people that are donating their <laughs> time are going to be able to Yeah, it's, I, mean, it's like yeah. The, I bet yeah, the explorer is the firefighter. I mean, I think that yeah. would probably yeah. be pretty um, high interest for yeah, I think it's just like kids, some kids, so. the arts and crafts will draw them out more, and then other kids are more active. So it just yeah. depends mm -hmm. on the activity, really. But you'll have kids sign up for everything. Um, there that you go. brings me <laughs> to a question that I had when I got that email from Michelle. The people coming into camp as volunteers, are they going to need background checks too? And is that going to fall upon us and our budget? No, didn't we just discuss that already? Because they're only there for the day and they're with the staff. Yeah, no one leaves their side. They only have two hours, you know, not even for the day, right? Two hour mm -hmm. chunk of time? Yeah, and the staff never leaves their side. <laughs> No, <laughs> as long as I, I just had forgot about it. So I'm sure I'm not. Do you have somebody that's going to fix the roof in the door? I'm still waiting back to hear from Blythe. Blythe's She's ignoring me. Blythe said uh, she wanted to have the accurate measurements um, before she it volunteers her husband. Yes. <laughs> you have a possibility? Yeah. She just wants to make sure he has the details when she asks him. <laughs> so we've known for months. Yeah. But Billy doesn't know yet. No, he doesn't know yet. Billy should know what size it is. He's been over there half times. Yeah, but she has to be nasty. Where we've been, we've been throwing them under the bus for months. Yes. Yeah. So Along with my brother. Okay. Do we have anything else on the board here, staff? Or I'm sorry. I'm all done. Kathy, are you done? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, I just want to say, I'm like, sorry. Yes. Uh, Denise Knowles, did you see that uh, email from Denise Knowles about the uh, Family Fun Day? September 23rd. Okay. She wants to know if the Red Group of staff wants to participate at Family Fun Day. So, I'm what does she mean by participate? I don't know. Have a table. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, talked to her but that's post, that's post camp. I mean, so I don't. Yeah, know. so I'm not sure we do. I talked to her about it at a uh, um, town meeting, and she suggested it might be good to have a table with like a recap of what we did over the summer and maybe drum up some excitement about winter rec or um, to just do some. Uh, Fun activities. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's table that. Yeah. Yeah. And let, let me just put some thoughts around it. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. Maybe you would like to have a table with all the fun things you do. Mm -hmm. She may have a real job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um, <It's laughs> when summer gets off the ground, we'll also have to talk about um, ice skating. Nothing new on on site inspections. On site tables are Anything new about the school or did you already cover it? Or do you have to it already? And staffing, anything new? No. Emails are out. Um, one quick question, I forgot to mention it. Thank yous, because, or the people who are donating money. Mm -hmm. Do we want to send a thank you now? Do we want to wait until the summer and get up, like a picture of all the kids in the camp and have the kids sign the thank yous? Or do sure, we? Sure, then you have to get permission from all the parents. Mm -hmm. That's part of the packets, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
so I don't know. Do you just want me to do Let's just say thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's not that we don't appreciate it, but I think Rep. Committee. It's a little so I think you should come from the committee. Okay. That's a uh, scholarship. I have close it up. <laughs> That actually goes to Lester, right? Did you give that number to Lester? Yeah, I did. And well, that goes to Caroline, to right? That's going to go to Caroline. Yeah. Open it right front. All right. Who, uh, well, I would send her an email saying it's right in front because she will. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. She I has can. a lot on her plate. I will. Okay. There's a ton going on right now. Oh, sure. There. Did you have one? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Yes. <laughs>